Hey guys, it's Blake back at the Rada Test Kitchen and I'm here to do another uh, fun recipe with you. I've got a beet and carrot salad with a smoky apple cider vinaigrette. Um, we have some pretty interesting products here that we're going to use in this recipe. You may not have heard it before, but uh, I'll be able to help you understand how to use it and work with it. So uh, we're going to start with uh, working with the beets. Using the Rada vegetable peeler, we're going to peel off the top layer of this golden beet. Clean it up a little bit. Drop it into the water. We're gonna bring it up in the pan, kind of like a potato. You put it in the water and then you bring it up to heat. There you go. All right, in the pan, we're gonna add a little bit of rice wine vinegar, and that kind of acts as a seasoning. Take it over here. Like I said, we're gonna bring it up kind of like a potato. All right, I have these beautiful purple carrots, the baby carrots, and um, these are a nice little attribute to our our salad. We'll cut the tops off, discard the tops, and we'll use the vegetable peeler again. And this is a good peeler for this because it takes off just a very small, thin layer of the top. A lot of times you can just boil them and you can peel the top off, but this is a little easier to work with. You can use any carrot, whether it's just a baby orange carrot, or I just got my hands on these beautiful green tops. It's a good time of year for the root vegetables too. We'll take these carrots and put them in boiling water. A little bit of salt. We'll let those cook. All right, we pull the carrots out of the water, put them into an ice bath, stop the cooking, and let those come down in temperature. All right, I've taken the beet out of the boiling water and vinegar. And let it cool down completely. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and cut this. And there's really a few ways you can cut it. Um, take that core off. A lot of times the coins, they look really nice on the plate. You can see the rings inside there. I really like to showcase that. Or we can cut them into little wedges as well. And those are nice and pretty too. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a couple different ways. We've got our carrots, they've cooked and come down in temperature, and we're just gonna <clears throat> try to get the greens the same length so they're all uniform. Put those back on the plate, and now we're gonna start on the vinaigrette. 
I got a bowl here and in the bowl I have uh, our sugar which will be mixed with the vinegar we've got apple cider vinegar here vinaigrette sometimes a lot of people what they do is they'll do equal parts sugar and vinegar and this one we have a little bit more sugar than vinegar but you don't want to add too much sugar because it'll end up being too sweet we have some smoked paprika some Worcestershire minced onion and then our oil add the oil in nice and slow you can emulsify it then you want to season it salt and pepper too last final ingredient to this vinaigrette we're going to add some fresh parsley and what I do is I ball it up go in there for a fine mince this is going in the vinaigrette so it should be nicely fine chef knife is definitely the best knife to use for this Okay, add it to the vinaigrette. Nice red and green color. Okay. We've got some papitas here, or pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna rough chop these guys. I want to have a little crunch to it. And keep them whole when you bite into them, they kind of pop, which is nice. So, a rough chop on those. What we're going to do is we're going to take our goat cheese, clump it up a little bit, just kind of roll it right on top of that. Papitas. Okay. Two nice chunks should work. All right. For the plating. Got some heritage spring mix here. Nice leaf, leafy greens. Go through and kind of select the goods. This is the body to the salad here. A little green on the side. Place our carrots on there according. Usually try to do odd numbers. There. Our golden beets.
a little bit of pepper, some salt. And then our dressing. Beautiful color. We got purple, yellow, greens, reds. For our garnish, got some really nice fresh chervil. Plate is finished. This is a pretty simple salad, pretty um, common too with the goat cheese and the beets, but yet I had put a twist on it with a little bit of a smoky vinaigrette, and it's surprisingly really good. I wouldn't underestimate it, and we'll have the recipe for you online. You can try it out yourself at home. The dressing is very versatile. It can go with a lot of different things, but this is just one way that I threw it together. Um, if you can't find pepitas or pumpkin seeds, then you can use pine nuts, really many different styles. Um, black walnuts are pretty common right now this time of year. Um, but yeah, it's a really good dressing. I'm really excited to share it with you and I hope you can enjoy it.